Hey, Dr. Lindsay and Wendy here. Uh, I've been growing my hair for a few months in protest. In protest. <laughs> and uh, you know, part of this, uh, is, the reason for this video is, you know, when, when you do a hair transplant, we can't put hair in there as thick as you arrived on earth with it. And, but we put it in as tight as we can, but there is some element of styling and combing and layering, not comb overing, but layering that, get, that lends itself to style. So I've been, let my hair grow for what you cut it in November. It is uh, March 19th. And uh, I'm, my wife told me I had to get a haircut or I can't come on vacation. So uh, Wendy's going to cut it today. But comb, comb, my, hair, comb my hair, Wendy. So I'll do your talking. So people always say to Dr. Lindsay that he has a lot of hair. I always say, no, 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 no. He is balding. And if you can see, he is thinning. He has a U, you know, like when he explains that U the thing. The frontal U. The frontal U. But because his hair is long, when I shave it, you can see, um, the, you can see the hair loss. Like all of this is thinning. So he has a small frontal U. Not a big one, but a small one. But he is balding. And his crown too. His crown, it's thinning. And you can see a little bit. See? You can see a little bit of that thinning. And when I cut his hair, he looks even thinner. So um, when he has it long, everybody's like, oh my God, Dr. Lindsay had a hair transplant. Yeah. A lot of our friends that haven't seen me in a few months thought I got a hair transplant because I usually wear a crew cut. Yeah. And the crew cut you can see through. So when you have it long, it's not a comb over, but you can definitely layer it. And it looks fuller. It looks like you have more and more hair. So when we come back in a few minutes, uh, Wendy will have cut my hair uh, about the length that my wife likes it, and then she'll cut, and then she'll cut, and then we'll come back and she'll cut it the length that I like it. I'm um, comb. All right. So uh, Wendy just trimmed. What did you do? You did, what was the number you did on the sides? Well, what we what we use is the one that. We use it for the beard, we use it for the hair. So on the front is probably a t like right here is a two. Right here is like a two. Yeah. And then um, right and then here that, is like a two and, and a half show. three. So now you can see exactly where his hair loss is. So you see this is like thick. You got a good tuft. This from here down. I think it's crawling into the front right here. Oh. And then if you go here, there's nothing. There's like Really, it, it feels like the comb just like... And you've been, and you cut, you've been cutting my hair for 11 years, I think, right? I know. And it's gotten thinner. Oh, it's getting easier to cut it because they cut less and less and less hair. <laughs> but still, with, uh, even with this length, which is what uh, about That's a centimeter it. long, it, I don't look bald. Yet, by and large, I am mostly yeah. bald up here, up here. I'm a class five with a tuft still. Yeah. And uh, so... I guess the whole point of this is that there's not a whole lot of hair in there, but at a centimeter long, you can still see like it, you, it frames a, you. It's enough to cover. Uh, yeah. that, that's a decent result for my hair transplant. Uh, not a great yeah, result, a but a decent result, you know. And there's nothing done there, and we'll trim it a little shorter, and then you'll see there's actually hardly any hair there, and that would be a poor result for my hair. But just having your hair a centimeter long, not a buzz cut or even if it's a little longer than a centimeter, it gives you the appearance the illusion, yeah. of having a lot of hair. And that's what hair transplants do. So let's go finish this thing off. Okay, so now, uh, let's see, you, you cut it to 10 the first time, right? So what mm -hmm. you said? And then you went down to eight on eight. top. Mm -hmm. And six on the sides. And six on the sides. And now that, you see it. Now you, you can see, see it. it. And, part and of normally it, you wear it even shorter than that. Yeah, this is the sort of thing I can get away with with my wife. And so, you know, the summary of this, this little video. It's perfect. Look, look, look. And that is perfect. And then you can lift it up a little bit. So the only good hair he has left is here. But with his hair long, it looked, really looked like you had no hair loss problems. Right. So you, the potential customer, don't have to just have a long, bushy haircut like I was doing in protest. But rather, you can cut it shorter but if you're going to get a hair transplant, it would probably be best to leave it a little longer than this so that you can have some layering like I looked like a few minutes ago. Right, Wendy? Yeah. So yeah. there's some happy medium in many things in life, and hairstyles are just one of those things. 
right? Yes. Let me see your crown. And he still, see? And he, so his hair loss went all the way up to here, right there. So you're definitely a class five, five like you said. But, you know, you just leave it long. And when it's long, you can't see it. I said, you look good like that. Um, but with that long hair, it makes definitely, you know, um, makes you look good. So it's, I guess it's preference. Some people like to have this kind of short haircut. And with your A scar, they will definitely be able to wear this short head of hair. But it will never, you're still going to see skin. Yeah. You will never look, you know, 100%. I mean, a, a, hair, tra a hair transplant should look better than this. Yes. But at the same time, we're not getting it much denser than this is because what's still left here are a whole bunch of thin, miniaturized hairs. And we're putting good hair up there if we do a hair transplant. But we can't put them as dense as you came to earth with. No, because we're only, you know, we're, we remove a strip and we try to maximize what that strip can give you coverage with. And just like with planting corn or trees, you got to leave a little dirt between each Plant space between it, but yeah. For blood vessels and, and uh, lymphatics and, you know, you can't just make it in slits. If we can help you, <laughs> give us a call. Thanks.